Nobody's here to catch wasps, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, along with the Zionist Jews, Theodore Hurls did all these things. You know, even today, if you go to Israel, there are some Orthodox Jews, they do not accept the initiatives of Theodore Hurls. The Zionist political movement in 1800 lost the protocols of the elders of the Zion. Zion is the mount, mountain in Palestine, Jerusalem. In the middle, there is Doom of the Rock, Sakhartul Kubra, Kubratul Sakhra. And on the right side, lower, there is Masjidul Aqsa, Masjidul Aqsa, the Mosque of Aqsa. And on the other side, there is a wailing wall. This wall is the broken remnant of the second temple of Solomon, peace be upon him. You see, if you read the Bible, two times the temple was destroyed. First time by Nebuchadnezzar or Nebuchadnezzar. The king of Babylonia, Iraq, came with a fierce force and destroyed the temple. The first temple, the house, the worshipping house for the Jews, which were Muslims, because Sulaiman was Muslim, not a Jew. Judaism, not a word you find in the Bible anywhere. Moses said, my religion was Judaism. Concoction of these terminologies, concoction of these uh, morphemes, concoction of these morphologies. So, Sulaiman made the temple with the help of jinn, the creation of God. This temple was destroyed because of the propensities of these Jews not obeying God Almighty. God gave them the hammer. By these people, Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the first temple and gone. After that, it was revived by Uzair alayhi salam, Izra. And he brought those whole parchment of Jews, this Old Testament, in one day. So they call him the son of God. Israel is the son of God, one of the sects of Jews. Then God gave another hammer. But that hammer came so later when they insinuated the one of the mightiest messengers of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Isa ibn Maryam, the son of Mary. Peace be upon him. So Uzair alayhi salam Isra revived and he made that, uh, you know, brought this uh, spiritual stuff. And then Zulqarnan, the man with the two horns, the Cyrus, Cyrus the Great, who joined Mesopotamia, with the help of his people and the army, he brought Jews back and destroyed those Akkadians kingdom by Nebuchadnezzar, Iraqi Babylonian king. And then he brought that new uh, empire by the name of Maccabees. There is a Bible, there is a book in the Bible, the book of Maccabees. And then again, the Jews again started those all kind of propensities with, where all the prophets of God threw on their faces. Jesus Christ said, before Jesus, Moses said, you are stiff necked people. Since I liberated you from Pharaoh's bondage, Jesus said, You kill prophets from righteous Abel to Zechariah, the son of Bachiriah. The blood of the prophets will be upon your shoulders, O Jews, on the day of judgment. What kind of people are these? What kind of inferiority? You're inferior. You know, the level of extremity these people were having that the time of their prophets are cursing them. So, somehow they repented and this Cyrus the Great helped them to revive and make the second temple. Then after many years gone, 70 AD, after they tried to kill Jesus Christ, which Allah says according to Islam, he was saved and Allah took him up alive a-L-I-V-E which you find all along after the alleged crucifixion in the four gospels that Mary Magdalene saw Jesus and he was alive the other from the appear disciple from the Amos they saw Jesus was alive 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 and you say resurrected 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 where there is no word resurrected used ever once for Jesus Christ after the alleged crucifixion 
alive. So God took him up alive. This is not the topic right now. So whatever Jews thought who killed, that's not our business. According to Jewish concept, they think that we killed Jesus Christ. They got rid of that imposter, inverted commas. And they are waiting for the real Mashiach, which will be Dajjal, Antichrist. This is not even the subject to. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Isa ibn Wari Maryam was the right Christ. Quran testified that. Christians took out of religion from this uh, incident. They got it redemption. Jews got it riddance. Islam says the optimal solution, neither he was killed nor crucified but it was made to appear to them so you have no certain knowledge for yaqeenan they killed him not this is the verdict of quran chapter 4 verse 157 so god took him so after jesus ascension alive according to islam 70 AD, roman emperor by the name of titus he killed all the Jews. He massacred them. In the large Mac 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 Macabre, it was a big massacre in Macabre and killed them. Their diaspora started. They said historians, 600,000 Jews were killed in one day or maybe 100,000 around that figure. And he killed, uh, sorry, he destroyed the second temple where you see now there is a wailing wall there that is the remnant and the leftover of Heckles Sulemania, the temple of Solomon on Mount Zion where the Zionism came and then in the middle Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu came 600 years he did Mi'raj the heavenly ascension and that thing in the middle Walid Ibn Marwan the one of the rulers of Bani Umayyah, he made doom on the top, doom of the rock, where Prophet ascended to heaven the night of Al-Isra or Mi'raj, the heavenly journey. So this is the point here. That is why it is holy for us. And Masjid Al-Aqsa was the masjid made by Suleiman, which Jews can call them synagogues, whatever they want, because Allah says in the Quran, you call churches or synagogue or masjid or mosques. If there is a, the worshipping is in the right way, then all will be accepted. You don't need to say masjid, it's okay. But if you worship their donkey, monkey, pigs, then there is a problem. You worship God with true spirit, no body shape, size and proportion or figments. So, Titus destroyed and killed many Jews and they had to flee to different part of the world and Muslims accepted. They came into Khyber Medina, Arab Jews, Yemeni Jews and rest of the Europe, Poland, R Russia, on and on. This they call it diaspora. Before they did Exodus after Pharaoh from Moses, then they got another migration. They call it diaspora where they were living in ghettos. They were not having anything slums in the poor areas, poor parts. The life of misery and they did it they suffered every Easter these Christian killed them burned them on put them on the stakes burned their books and they said Christ killers these people kill our God inverted commas and Muslims gave them shelters even Muslims gave them this much prerogative that one of these leaders these governors were Jews at the time of Hispania Spain Muslims rule Spain for 700 years and this is what latitude they gave to them and now they turn the tables and attacking us and the people who kill them on every Easter day now they are with them these protestant wasps because they are the influenced fruit and cultivated plants or production or harvest harvestation of Martin Luther and Kelvin Jewish concept protestantism came Church of Anglican England came cut the ties with Pope and we want to change the books remove those six books out of one of those book of Maccabees and they created their own way scientific knowledge came into existence Bible was translated into from Greek into Latin Hebrew into Latin the Latin into Greek in English under the majesty of King James in 1611 
and then people came to realize there are grave defects in the Bible because at the time of Pope people were not into an access of the Bible anyone reading Bible or scientific knowledge kill them burn them I'm exaggerating maybe but there was really severe punishment so these the scientific knowledge was also this had it not been for people to buy caught with Pope break break the taqlid there wouldn't have been any scientific revolution or renaissance or reformation in Christendom or in Europe I rather say so Jews are came then after all these prolonged years after that Jesus Christ alayhi salam Prophet Muhammad sallam, came into Arabia 325 AD another thing happened Constantine from Antioch he converted into Christian into Trinitarian formula and there has persecuted all the people by the deity of Christ by the show of hands political hands like democracy theocracy demo theocracy and they anointed Jesus as the part of the Trinity they anointed Jesus as God and rest of the all people Unitarians and the early Orthodox were ruined so that is why when Prophet ﷺ came all of the Europe was Trinitarian rather Unitarians so Prophet came these Jews they were you know they give Prophet a very hard time I don't want to go into detail what did they do with their own people first like how they split Christianity from the sect of Jews then again they split again Christianity into two more Roman Catholicism into Protestantism and then when Islam came how they split Sunni and Shia and then Islam came how they split you know these things four types of enemies were there with Prophet Muhammad continuously since he proclaimed his prophethood proclaimed means that since he told to the people since he told to the people that I am prophet tells to the people you see kuffar in Makkah disbelievers of Makkah fierce enemies worse enemies then uh, Jews and Christians then Munafiq in Medina the hypocrites of Medina four kind of groups were continuously disturbing Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in his entire missionary work and they act like innocent cherubims more than 50,000 books have been written against the stature of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him who is being revered by more than 1.8 billion people around the world they break and they destroy their sentiments like in Stockholm in Sweden they are doing this burning of the Quran and they are playing with our sentiments and they want us to be bored like them like the South Park cartoons they said Jesus was bastard they want us to do the same thing this will not work with us we love our Nabi and we love more than our deaths more than our lives so don't take a chance on Muslims don't test our faith don't test us don't just let us you know don't spark or don't you know ignite rather I said don't ignite the spark which is in the hearts of the Muslims coal our burning our fire our fuel is burning in a low uh, you know frequency or a low velocity so don't make us you know rise our speed so after that Muslims embrace them in Spain okay fine you can come with us how did they do this and now I just read news now two days back Benjamin Netanyahu may be coming back again and they are expanding to the West Bank they want to make 18,000 more units and they want to kick those Palestinians Palestinians out or they want to make, you know do some settle them or register themselves in the Israeli government area that we will watch you monitor you and you just be slaves and this is what Prophet Sallallahu says that this is the time which is near where the Dajjal is going to arrive everything has been taken away from Jerusalem it became the capital of Israel now before it was the capital of Palestine and now things are getting changed there day by day recently one of the guy he went to Masjid al-Aqsa one of the representative whole of the world reacted and I appreciate that you know these these people are checking there is something going on there is something going on there is something micro analysis going on from the dictation of their Dajjal and they want to make sure that everything is okay before he really comes